Hello and welcome back everybody. This is Biochemist 6, also known as Harold. And welcome back after a long-awaited hiatus. Decided to showcase a wonderful Bionicle game for you today. So today's special is Bionicle Masks of Power. It's a fan-made uh, fan game. This is version 1.4, by the way. And I'm going to start off with a little tutorial video for anyone that's interested in playing the game and hasn't checked out all of the abilities that showed up in the control menu. I'm just going to show it off to you. So yeah. So to begin with, we're just going to show off some of the basic controls. If you're brand new to the game and really haven't played a lot of games, you can probably skip this. Uh, you probably want to watch this part. If you play games and have experience in it before, I'd recommend skipping this part. So, to begin with, we have our basic WASD keys, which allow you to go front and back and right and left, as you would expect in most games. We also have our space key to jump and our shift key to sprint, so it allows you to run a little bit faster. And we also have our, cr our control key, which allows you to crouch to go into smaller areas. See if I can fit. Oh, uh, I'm too fat. Uh, okay. <coughs> so, by the way, if you're interested in looking at all these controls, press escape. And we have a, our uh, control scheme here, which allows you to see uh, each of the keys. So, yeah. Um, other than that, there are a couple keys that I'm going to show off to you. First of all, we have our disable HUD. So you press backspace and you just want really cool atmospheric picture of Pohatu on the beach. There you go. With no distractions. Um, and if you want, or just desperately looking to play first person, you can press V and it will allow you to play first person. So here I am sprinting, jumping, crouching, and you know, I'm playing Bionicle. I'm exploring Mata Nui as it was originally created in Mata Nui online game in first person. But I'm like, no, I enjoy seeing my characters. So I just press V again, it takes me to third person. So there you go. Okay, now that we're over here, I'm going to show you how to change different toes. Because when you start the game up, you choose which toe you want to play as. And you're like, no, wait, I changed my mind. I don't like Pohatu that much. I want to be some other Toa from 2001. So press down T, it'll bring up your Toa tab here. You can go ahead and choose who you want to be. I, for the sake of this, am going to choose Ja or er, Tahu. Ooh, I'm sorry, Tahu. He's offended at that. All right. So we've changed Toa, which means that each Toa has different abilities and such. I'm going to show you combat mode now. All right. So let's see how this works. So there are a couple enemies. That currently, there's only two Rahi that are aggressive in the game: um, the Nui Jagas and the Oh. I can't remember what they are now, but I'll remember it eventually. So, when you want to fight something, go ahead and press R. This takes you into combat mode. This currently only works for Liwa, Kopaka, and Tahu, I believe. Um, and you can press your middle mouse button, and it will allow you to toggle, toggle side to side, whichever you want to do. So you just click, and Tahu swings his sword. So we'll go ahead and hit this guy. Ooh. He swiped at us. Oh, see, we took some damage there. So we have a health bar and a sprint bar, a uh, yellow bar, which represents stamina. So if I want to run away, you can see how my stamina bar slowly goes down, and I regen health over time. See, stop one. Go away, please. <laughs> I don't like you. So this is a good opportunity to show him. Uh, Tahu has some elemental abilities. I don't know if any of the other Toa ought do. You can press one, and he shoots a little fireball. Oh which apparently has a cooldown. Just wasted it. Oh, he's stunned. He's so impressed with my fire. Oh, nope, he's not stunned anymore. Go away. I don't, I don't want it. Um, apparently, there's supposed to be more abilities along with this, but Tahu, I believe, is the only one who has this ability as of right now. So he has a ranged fireball ability, has a little bit of a cooldown. You can just use it to my heart's content. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't drain, it just have a, has a cooldown. Let's uh, let's take care of this guy real quick. Get out of here. Ow! Punk. So now I'm going to show you a couple of the different things, some other controls that you can do. 
to interact with objects in the game. If you want to talk to a Matoran, just go up to the nearest Matoran, like really, really close, face them, and press E. And then it'll bring up this pretty cool little interaction where you're talking to a Matoran. Okay, cool. Um, some of them will have quests. If you end up talking to a Matoran who has a quest, you can go ahead and press tab. Brings up any of your quests, which I think are currently under construction. So that's about as much as you can do there. There's maybe one or two um, quests right now that I know of that you can complete, um, but they don't they don't fully work as of right now in 1.4. So there you have. So we're gonna go ahead and showcase each of the Toa's special mask abilities. So to begin with. We're going to use Pohatu. So Pohatu's special ability is his Kakama. By the way, once we find some masks, I'm going to show you how to switch masks. But for right now, we're just going to focus on Pohatu's Kakama, which is the great mask of speed, and see how it works. So to utilize the mask ability for each toe, you want to press Q. So Pohatu, I press Q, and away he goes. He runs really fast. I don't even have to press any buttons. He just runs in whatever direction I face him with the mouse. He can jump while he's running, um, but other than that, he just he just goes. I highly recommend Pohatu as a beginning character for the game if you want to find as many masks as you can. It saves a lot of time if you can run across the whole island. Because you can you can travel a lot of a lot of, a lot of distance in a short amount of time. So yeah. Once Pohatu runs out of his yellow bar, his stamina bar, um, he just slows down and he starts walking. So, I'll see. Oh, there we go. Ow. Took some fall damage there, yeah. See, so he slows down. Well, there we go. And if you notice, that little gray bar up at the top where it has my mask, that has slowly gone down as we've been going. So, you do have to watch your, um, your mask, how much it's draining because you can drain it all the way. Fortunately, there are little refill stations along the way that you can jump into, refills your mask with protodermis, I'm assuming, and sets you on your way. So let's change masks real quick. We're gonna switch over to Kopaka. So ba Kopaka has a really cool mask, which is the Akaku, uh, the mask of like far-seeing, I want to say. So if you press Q, it allows Kopaka to see things that are hidden, so you can see objects and creatures, which can be quite helpful in certain situations. Fun fact, if you want to zoom in for, Co for Kopaka, just press Alt, and allow you to zoom in, allowing you to see even closer. So that's pretty cool there. So we can see that there's a protodermis station right around the corner. So in fact, it's up on top of a mountain. So that's going to be difficult for us to get to. See, there's like this different texture, and we're like, oh, I can't jump up that. Up that. So this is going to be handy time to switch over to Toa Liwa, who has the Miru, the Great Mask of Levitation. So we click that on and just jump, and it allows Liwa to jump. That didn't take me up all the way, but another jump does. He also takes a lot less fall damage while he is jumping and has his mask activated. Uh, up through here. So Pohatu, you can see his bar up at the left is kind of drained. So we're going to jump into this protodermis. Oh, yeah. It's kind of interesting. But my mask is now fully, almost fully charged and I'm ready to go. All right. The next tower that we're going to show is going to be um, Tahu. So the way that Tahu works, remember that Tahu is a pretty combat-oriented character. And he's really good for combat. Um, one really nice ability for him is that he has the great mask of shielding in his howl. So if I press Q, a little shield appears all around me, which protects me from damage. However, it does drain my mask the longer that I have it on, but I'll just show you real quick how that's going to work in combat.
Ow! That hurt! Get away from me! Back, you fiend. Back. So as you can see here, Tahu's shield allows him to do a lot. Oh! A lot in the way of combat because I am protected from any damage that I take. However, it does drain my stamina the more that I hit and that I utilize my shield. So there you go. Okay. Now I'm back. <laughs> now it's nighttime and it's kind of creepy. <laughs> so <laughs> let's check out some of the other toe. All right. So we only have two left. We have Anua, who has the Bakari, the Great Mask of Strength. Now, as of right now, I have no idea whether Anua's mask actually works or not. So, his works the same way. You press Q. It kind of makes everything go fuzzy, and I'm assuming that you would, like, do something at this point. Like, interact or attack. However, I haven't found anything that Anua can actually, like, interact with. So, as far as I know, Anua doesn't work right now. However, I could entirely be wrong. Um, I just haven't found anything that he can really um, do. He also can't fight, so that is kind of a bummer there. It's just really pretty. I love the graphics here. Well, Golly is our last Toa. She has the uh, the Cow Cow, the Great Mask of Water Breathing. So we're going to go ahead and press Q and jump in the water. Yay! And I have an oxygen bar for swimming, so I will show you. With Pohatu, if he goes in the water, do 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 do. He starts to drown, which is terrible. So, we can go back to Holly. We can swim safely across the cavern here. And she just goes ahead and starts swimming. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, but you can go up and down. If you hold shift, you go down. If you go up, you notice her bar is going down, but I'll show you in just a sec. She's not going to take any damage. Normally, your character will take damage when they reach zero. But as you can see, she's just fine. Boom. All right, so there is Toa Gali. All right, and now that we're at the top of this really, really tall mountain, I'm going to show you how you can pick up a mask. So these masks are spread around the island, hence the name of the game of power um, so what you want to do is when you find one throughout the island you want to re you know look down at it get like pretty much right on top of it and just e ah! oh no <laughs> ow okay that kind of hurt all right so that was um that's how you pick up the mask there are 12 of them spread around the island so if you hit b you can go ahead and click and select which one you like. So I want to go back to the Miru. Or I want to go back and hit the Komau. I can do that. So there you go. Currently, I think only some of the masks have abilities. I want to say like six or seven of them have abilities um, that I know of. Several, several of them do not currently have ability so um, like I said it's a work in progress but they are really fun so yeah well that's most of the controls in the game everybody but uh, there's one last one that I found out that uh, is also part of the game if you use your scroll wheel doo -doo 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 -doo, it allows you to scroll in farther or really close whichever you would like so there you have it Everybody, this is, that is my little tutorial of how to play the Masks of Power version 1.4. So I hope that you have all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care!